Typically speaking, we like to do things like calf raises, okay? To build, obviously, some calf muscles, which help us in propulsion for places like jumping, running, and things like that. But typically speaking, we tend to see a bit of a bias in our foot foot power. And we lack a lot of strength in those internal components of our hip extender toe, which is the big toe, how that correlates to hip extension. In order to achieve that and really isolate that area, we have to do things such as these types of variations of calf raises. So if I have a ball here, I'm gonna do them to place this in between my heels, okay? I don't wanna emphasize turning my feet out, they actually need to be straight ahead. And what I'm going to emphasize, stacking the pelvis forward, holding shoulder blades back, I'm gonna do a calf raise with a focus and emphasis, so I'm pushing off my big toe, okay? Now, if you've had injuries in your big toe or your big toe doesn't work a lot, such as myself, you may need to use some type of assistance so you don't fall and topple over. You may not get a lot of range. This would be the main reason why you would do an exercise such as this. Again, when creating this, you want to really almost squeeze the ball in half with your heels, okay? Push through your big toe and really emphasize trying to get your heels as high off the ground as possible. Use assistance if necessary.